All right, what's up guys? So now we're gonna load the excavator on the trailer. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get your deck cleaned off of all the stuff that came off from the last move. So I got my deck cleaned off. I actually just filled my, oh, well, didn't fill, but I put my airbags up to 85 pounds. If you have, if you have airbags, you don't have to do that, but you should have, you know, 30, 40 pounds in at least before you put this much weight on it. But I like to do it beforehand. So I got them where I want them. I've got my, I have mega ramps on this. So I got the mega ramps dropped. You want to be sitting on as level ground as you possibly can. And uh, I'm sitting pretty good. It does have a little bit of a lean to it, but it's not going to affect me. So then, you know, you obviously want to have your machine cleaned off your tracks, your bucket, if you have a bucket, the mulcher in this case, a lot of leaves and stuff gets caught right here, so you gotta clean that all off. So I got my tracks cleaned off, you know, I'm ready to go. So we're gonna take our time and, and load up. And you know, I'll talk about where you want the, where you want the weight and all that stuff too, but First, we're gonna get this loaded up. So I'll, you know, I'll put myself straight on to to the tracks where I want to be and just ease my way up. And you'll feel the weight of the of the machine starting to go over. First couple times you do it, if you're not used to using the machine, you might be a little bit timid. But once you do it a few times, yeah, you'll be all right. So I'm not sure at what point that fell off um, but anyway so it's loaded on uh, you want to make sure that it's centered on your trailer so you know you have even even space on your deck on both sides and I'm, I'm really close I'm probably within an inch so we're really good there um, you know I got my blade in the front I want to have a bit more tongue weight and uh, you know, I'm just ahead, just sitting on and just ahead of the back axle. Got my blade down, so I'm gonna go ahead and chain this thing up. I'm not gonna show you that. Um, I'll show you the finished product, but if you uh, if you want me to make a video of actually chaining the machine, then you know there's no problems with that. With my machine, um, you gotta put the ramps up first before you swing it around because it will actually catch on the boom of the of the excavator so i'm gonna throw my ramps up right now and uh start chaining this thing down another thing to remember when you swing around you know obviously have a good look of where you're at there's i have power lines and communication lines on this side so you know you want to make sure that you're obviously not going to contact that so i am going to swing around this way i'm going to hit a couple trees but that's fine but uh, don't swing too fast because honestly you could slide your machine off of these decks so keep that in mind too especially if you're loading onto a steel deck steel on steel is very slippery so i'm going to go ahead and get this chain down and uh show you what that uh, is all about all right guys so there she is she's all chained down ready to go you know obviously you're crossing your chains um i got my I got my chain wrapped around my coupler and bungee cords. Not sure if that's law where you guys are watching, but it is here. You know, everything's everything's nice and tight. Again, tracks are clean. You always gotta have a binder going across your your bucket. I'm gonna take a broom and clean this off. You wanna, like I said, you wanna make sure that your machine is centered. So I got my cab sitting straight. I got my boom 
you know right in the center of the trailer and I have uh, my boom is just inside the back of my deck if it's sticking out a bit it's not the end of the world I use my uh, actual anchor points some guys will just attach them to the tracks do whatever you want I'm not here to tell you what to do um, they're there for a reason I use them that's the way I do it but again you know a lot of guys have been doing this a lot longer than me and they use the tracks and I guess it kind of depends on where you're at but I don't want any reason why to have any issues at the scale house or the DOT or any anybody of the way or so I'm gonna do it by the book but uh, yeah that's it guys we're gonna head out head on to the next site I gotta fill up my log book again another important part of this whole process probably the most important part if you don't want fines and you want to keep your license but uh, yeah that's it if anyone wants me to make a video on actually uh, chaining the thing down you know let me know there's a few few little tips using these type of binders to the ratchet ones sometimes you can get an in-between where it's too tight and the next one's too loose and people don't a lot of people don't know about it about the half hook so half length so you just take this and move this back there you go done deal should be in the sweet spot but we're all hooked up ready to go safe and sound she's a beautiful thing sitting there okay guys later